comes to my job, my job comes in once you have a, an executed contract. So once it's executed, then there is a, a list, a series of steps that we're going to take um, after that to ensure a smooth handoff. When I say smooth handoff, I just mean hand off the documents um, and the information to me. You will be involved every step of the way. Everything I do, um, I set up as the agent asked me to send this. Um, the agent asked me to forward this. It's always me doing it on behalf of you so that the last thing I want is for you to lose control of your own transaction. And what I mean by that is I don't want to be doing so much that you have no idea what's happening with your own transaction. And that has happened before. Um, the client starts talking to me. They start asking me the questions. The agent gets busy. They kind of step out. And the next thing they know, you know, they're not reading their CCs and they have no idea what's going on. So um, I, I'll keep you informed every step of the way you're copied on everything, but I would, you know, strongly suggest that you read everything so that you can stay involved, so that you can know what's happening, so that you don't ever get caught, you know, um, not knowing what's happening when your clients call. So the way that my process is set up, that shouldn't happen um, unless you're just not reading my emails. And um, I know that sometimes it's easy when we get busy to let the emails pile up. But if you see emails come in, copies come in from me, just just read through them really quickly, just see what they say. And then that way you'll, you'll have an understanding of what's happening. So I'm going to share just a quick, um, on my screen, I'm just going to share my quick submission um, guideline sheet and we'll just kind of go over it. And then I'm going to let you guys ask me some questions. Okay. Fair screen. Can, oh, I think we're good. Okay. Can everybody see that? Yes. Okay. So again, this all begins with the executed contract. So once we get an executed contract and everybody is aware that we're under contract, um, you're going to collect all those documents, um, the rep fee, the addenda, all your brokerage documents. So if you have a listing, I need the exclusive right to sell, the listing input. Now, most of these things should be in command already. Um, but if for some reason they're not, please send them to me. If they are in command and you can say to me, here is the contract or send in the submission, um, give me the opportunity number, I can go find those things for myself. But I will need what is on this list if you don't have it in command. So um, it will make your life easier if you keep everything in command as you go along as Tanya called it, the pizza tracker. If you use command along the pizza tracker, it, by the time it gets under contract and comes to me, it will make um, things a lot easier. So I won't go through these. You guys know what you need for sellers. You guys know what you need for buyers. And then you're gonna just hit this quick Google form here. Now, with all of these you know, required and um, conditional documents, we all know what they are. You know that if it's pre-1978, you need the lead-based paint disclosure. You know you need um, seller's property condition disclosures. You know what documents you need. Um, the only thing, I can help you get all of those documents um, if, say, you have a client that you know didn't get something signed. I can help you get that once the contract is, um, is ratified. I can help you get things like, um, you know, if they didn't sign before your protection, if they didn't sign those types of things, I can kind of come back around and help you get everything signed and everything into com at command so that we have compliance. So does anybody have questions this far? There you go. All right. I think we're okay. Okay. So, We'll go over it. So the next thing, so we have on the list, we have, this is the, the transmission or the submission document. So 
you're just going to fill this out. And all this is, is all the information that I need. Um, if you know that it is in command already, you can just type in command, in command, in command. Um, and you don't have to look it all up if you have it all in command. Um, once we get uh, everything into command, then I'll do a quick file audit, go through everything, make sure that all of our, you know, all the boxes are checked, everything is as it should be. And if I come up with something that we're missing, I will ask you how you want that handled. So if we're missing a, a box check on section 1.2, I will say to you, I notice we're missing this box check. Do you want me to send it to the client to check the box? And you're going to tell me yes or no. And you're going to say, let me tell them what's coming and then send it. So we have a really good communication between us. Um, I never send things to your clients without your knowledge. So you won't ever get a uh, you know, an email or a call from somebody that says, you just sent me this. I don't know what it is. That's not how this will work. So you're always going to know when I'm sending documents to them, because mostly you're going to have asked me to do that. Um, the only document with the exception of that is your document receipt towards the end of closing. I'll just send that out. It's a pretty self-explanatory document and I do explain what that is as I send that out and that is just them acknowledging the documents that they've gotten um, but other than that I won't send anything to your client without you asking me or or telling me to do that okay so um, so it really is pretty simple if we don't have every single one of these documents when you send it in for submission, I understand that we're not going to have everything right in the beginning. I would rather get what you do have and work with you to get what you don't have so that we can hurry and get the file into command so that we can stay in compliance. So don't wait to send it until you have a certain document. You can just send in what you have and then let me know what you're waiting for. And then, um, that way I can get everything right into command. I can put it in the system so that I can keep track of our all of our deadlines. Um, does anybody have any questions so far about that? No? Okay. Nope. Okay, great. So once we have a contract, um, we've gone through pretty much how know to get it into command and all the things that we're going to do we've already gone through all of this so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go through all of that in detail but i am going to say to you that once it's in this section i will keep track of it i will watch it i will make sure that we have what we need and let you know if a note comes back from the office or from compliance that we need to do something different so um, so once I have it, you are um, welcome to get into command and check on things and make sure that everything is there. But that's kind of my, once I get it, I will check, I will make sure that we have everything marked off as approved. And if something comes back as uh, rejected from the office, I will uh, let you know and we will decide, you'll decide how you want me to handle it. Okie doke. So, um, does anybody have any questions so far? I mean, without going right into command and showing how we do all that, which we've done before, um, that's pretty much it as far as submission. It's pretty much just follow the submission guidelines, fill out the form, and um, I will take it from there. But does anybody have any questions as far as what I do or don't handle? Yeah, so Carrie, I love um, the message you sent us about uh, a change, and I want to say, was it the Rev C? Was it a change? Mm -hmm. So, are you going to keep doing those for us just when changes yes. occur? Yep. Thank you. But, mm -hmm. We'll take care yep. of you because that's. Yep, just as a courtesy to you guys. Um, and then, of course, if you have any questions on how to use those forms and things like that, that's what Chris is for. He'll help you with all of that. But but as far as like, if I see any new documents coming out or anything on the transaction side that I think is helpful to my agents, I'll always pass it along 
And you may have seen it already, but I usually do pass it along if I see something that might be changing or something that might be helpful. Guys, this is just in my experience, um, for lack of a better phrase, so something TCs typically don't do, <laughs> at least in my experience. So um, I know when you're new to the process and things like that, it's hard to understand like what else is out there or what is typically provided and what isn't. So I just wanted to give you guys my perspective on that. And I know this may be like backwards order, but um, I, I first wanna make sure if anyone has any other questions as far as what this process looks like, the reason we're taking time with this is there needs to be clarity around, okay, great. I go under contract, these are the forms, this is the questionnaire I submit, right? And then this is where it's uploaded. So do you guys feel like you have clarity around that? So do you fill out, once you're under contract, do you fill out the, the contracts and submit to Curie to send out? Or do you start, like if there's, let's say we're extending deadlines and an addendum needs to be added to that? Yeah, Curie would not know, and if it's okay for me to answer for you, Carrie, correct me if I'm wrong. Sure. He would not know the negotiation process at times, like what addendum needs to be filled out or what that looks like. So it is our responsibility that if there is extended deadlines or whatever it is, repairs, that we fill out that addendum, get the necessary yeah. signatures, and then upload it for her. Um, what about like the open disclosures and things like that? Did you hear that, Carrie? No, not really. So see, yeah, through our masks, it's a little hard. To yeah, do, but, it is hard. Yeah. Uh, so she was asking about mold meth disclosures, things like that. Um, that would be kind of on that sheet. On the list. Okay. Exactly. Perfect. You want to have these things filled out because keep in mind, um, there's two sides to the coin, really, right? Yeah. Um, the way I've worked with transaction coordinators in the past, and um, I was going to say, Carrie, it would be cool if you introduced and tell a little bit about yourself also and, and that kind yeah. of stuff. Don't know later. But in my experience in the past, it's my my job to be able to explain these documents because yeah. for me specifically, while Carrie's more than capable, I would want to be the person to explain what the mold meth is, right? Or well, the wire fraud disclosure, things like yeah. that, because I would not want a situation where someone comes back and says, like, you know, it's lost in translation somewhere. And I say, Well, our transaction coordinator, I know she talked to you about it. And then they say, Oh, well, I don't know. It, keep in mind, we're still responsible as a fiduciary to our clients to explain, you know, what these things mean. Um, in my experience, again, the transaction coordinator has been invaluable where um, they're able to let me know throughout, really, it comes down to, Carrie, I've, I am probably, I'm surprised you haven't heard of me that I'm not infamous, but I have a way of like, I'll just say in, in the past, like I get so busy getting the settlement, finding about a perform that I was missing when I was a bring a new agent or things like that. So they're invaluable to be able to help us through the process to make sure it's a smooth transaction for our clients, especially as a newer agent. And with the Spanish side of things, do I just explain to them the form that's coming their way and what they yeah. can see their signature? That's then Carrie does not yeah, that's what I would do. And, and Carrie, by the way, with you sending forms out, I mean, I've heard things here and there from the division and especially from the Association of Realtors, but are they coming out with forms that have been translated into Spanish for people yeah. or are they out yes. yet? We're, yeah, they're working on it. And um, I don't know of a deadline for that, yeah. but yes, they are. Yeah. Cool. In the process. In the process. Of oh, okay. It, yeah. Okay. So we don't yeah. at all. Yeah. We don't have that yet. So yes, you would need to explain that to your clients. And yeah. And for me, the, the minute we yeah. see those, um, they usually release new documents a couple of times a year, once in the spring and once in the fall. Um, and so the minute we see, and then you know, once in a while, as needed, um, throughout the year. But once we see those, we'll definitely shuffle them right out to you. Um, but as far as explaining disclosures and things, um, yes, I have a very good understanding of what those documents are, when they need to go and what they mean. However, I am not their agent. They did not hire me. And so those are the types of things that they want to hear from you. 
and I am ha happy to help you get those documents to them. And if you have an addendum that you've written that you need sent out to them to sign, um, I am happy to do that. I am happy to get that out. And then once it comes back for, from signatures, it is my job to make sure that everybody gets a copy. Um, and so you won't have to ask me to do that. The only time I will check with you first is if there is a modification of a purchase price or a modification of a date. I won't just assume when I see it in DocuSign that you have talked to the other party. I will always check with you and say, hey, do you know, do you want me to send this document out? Because my job is not to surprise the other agent with documents that you didn't realize I was sending out. Our job over here is to make sure that you know what I'm doing. I know what you you're doing so we don't end up looking stupid to somebody else. So before I ever send anything that I know that I am not sure of, I will always ask you um, just so that I don't cause any um, unnecessary confusion or angst or anything. Yeah, that's more than I expected. That's great. That's good. Definitely don't want to make your jobs harder. My job is to make your job easier. My job is to make sure that uh, just if, uh, you know, just right before closing, all of the files are in and, and approved so that when that check comes in, there is no delay to getting paid whatsoever. That's my job. So, um, and if, if there's ever something that I can't accomplish, you know, I'm waiting, I've asked, I've begged, I've pleaded, and I can't get it, um, I will always let you know so that you can hop in and help me. But for the most part, that doesn't happen. Everybody is pretty cooperative and everybody knows what everyone needs. So everyone just does what they need to. And this, this goes back to setting up expectations with our own clients of who's working throughout this. And it's actually put out there, going back to value proposition as a benefit to do business with us, right? So, cool. Okay. Thank you. Okay, yeah. Does anybody have any additional questions on anything before I hop out of here? Okay. Okay, let me know if you need anything. Good to see you Thanks, all. Carrie. Okay, have a great have a day.